Hey y'all, it's been a whole year, almost a whole year since I've been in Turks, but I'm still going to give you all this content that I've been meaning to share. So on day three of being in Turks, we headed over to Hemingway's for breakfast in the morning. Also a great thing about Hemingway's is that right after you finish breakfast, lunch, or dinner there, you can head straight to the beach right off of the dock. And look at this y'all. Look at the material, okay? Just beautiful. Grace Bay Beach is so beautiful. Probably one of the beautiful beaches I've ever seen. And of course, we have sunbathing and tanning on the menu for the rest of the day. As a sand volleyball girly, if you know, you know, I had to get in my sand volleyball, some reps going. So I also enjoyed the ocean. So beautiful, y'all. So clear. And I also tried to recreate this movie scene. Definitely didn't go as planned, but yeah. After that, we headed over for lunch to Mr. Grouper's super popular local spot to get some um, local food. And everybody was talking about conch fritters or just conch in general. So we had to try that. And I ordered some jerk chicken plantains and their local mac and cheese it was really tasty. Would we'll definitely go back. After relaxing, um, after lunch, we headed over to Hydro Charters for jet skiing. This is my first time jet skiing and y'all had the best time ever. So the options was to go to the shipwreck or Noah's Ark. Since the waters are pretty choppy, we ended up just going to Noah's Ark and it was definitely a great choice. It's typically known for being packed and um, the best day um, to go is on Sundays, but we were on, there on Saturday and it was still a nice little vibe. There's my instructor doing tricks on the jet skis. But yeah, overall great music, great vibes. And yeah, people typically bring their yachts and it's just like a great time. On the way back, I got a chance to drive the jet ski, so I was super excited, especially if it's for it being my first time.